In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to Snowflake in dbt Cloud. All right, so here let me go ahead and uh, create a new project. So I'm going to uh, start everything from scratch. So I'll go to account settings, and I'll click on projects, and I'll create a new project. Now here let me name this project as uh, Snowflake Demo, and continue. Now here for the uh, data warehouse type, I'm going to choose Snowflake, and next. All right, so here we want to give our connection name, and I'll call this uh, Snowflake DBT Cloud Demo. All right, so under settings for the account use, so this is going to be account user ID. Now I want to navigate to our Snowflake account, and here me login first. All right, so once you log into your Snowflake account, want to go to, let's see, I want to go to admin, followed by accounts. All right, so currently I only have a single account. Basically what you want to do here is, you want to have your mouse to uh, the account that you want to connect to in dbt. All right, so here you can copy the link, the uh, account URL link. It will go back to dbt cloud. In the account field, we'll copy and paste. Now here you want to remove the snowflake computing.com, this portion right here, and the HTTPS portion. And that leaves just the uh, account name. Now we can uh, specify the database and the data warehouse that I want to connect to. All right, so let me go into my worksheet uh, real quick. All right, so for the uh, data warehouse, I'm going to connect to this uh, transforming data warehouse. And for the database, I'll connect to my analytics database. Now under optional settings, I'm going to leave row uh, blank. Now for the uh, development credential, so here we want to type in our Snowflake account uh, user credential. All right, so it's going to be a username followed by password. Now schema is going to be uh, based on the data warehouse system that you're using. So schema is going to be the uh, database that where DBT Cloud is going to create and use that as a kind of like a development or staging area. Then you can uh, specify the uh, targeting and the address. Now to make sure that we have uh, set up our Snowflake database connection uh, successfully, we want to click on test connection. If you see that the connection test is complete, that means that uh, your connection is created successfully. Now you can move on to the next step. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys find this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.